Hello and welcome to the second tutorial of SOLIDWORKS. In this video, I'm going to create this part step by step. While creating this part, we will learn how to use the following commands. Extrude bows, extrude cut, fillet and chamfer. On top of that, we'll also learn how to constrain a drawing with respect to origin and how to use relations while drawing sketches. So let's start. Let's go to the drawing. In the drawing, the isometric view is given. The front view is given. That's a top view. That's our auxiliary view over here. And the dimensions are in inches up to three decimal places over here. And what I'll do, I'll start with the front view. I'll sketch the front view over here and I'll extrude it to this depth over here. So let's do it. Front plane, sketch. I'll start from the origin using a line command. I'll draw a rough sketch you can see that the units of the drawing is millimeters over here you can change it to inches if you want once you click on inches it will kick you out of the sketch you can go back to the sketch over here and edit the sketch you will be inside the sketch now and the units will be what inches you can do that before starting the sketch also, which will be more convenient. And now let's smart dimension it. The distance of this line to the bottom over here according to the sketch is 4. And distance of this point from this line is 1.5. And the angle of this line with respect to this line is 45. Distance of this line with respect to this line over here is 3.5 And you can see that this line as we drew it before it has created problem over here If we'll dimension this line with respect to this line, it will be hard to do that So what I'll do I'll go outside the sketch uh, Dimension command over here By pressing escape and I'll drag this line and move it on this side So it will be easy to dimension it afterwards. So now we can go to dimension command again and say that the height of this line is 1 and height of this point from here is 2 and height of that point from here is 3 and distance of this line is 1 and from this point to this line is 1.75 zero okay and the and the drawing is fully constrained even without giving the dimension of this line over here why it is that why because while drawing the line i made this line parallel to this line over here if they were not parallel for example if you want to remove this relation over here i click on this relation and delete it you can see that this portion will be blue and you can actually change its distance like that but if i say that I click on this line, press control and click on this line and I make it parallel from here using relations. So there you go. The drawing will be fully constrained means that if the angle of this line is 45, that is also 45. So the sketch is fully constrained now. We'll go to feature extrude. I'll not use a blind extrude. I will use a mid plane extrude and I'll click on this. And you can increase the dimension from here. From the top view of the drawing, you can see that the depth of the drawing is what? 3 inches. So I will say this is 3 inches. It will make it 1.5 on either side of the plane over here that we are choosing the mid plane. So there you go, guys. That's the part, the extruded part. So now the next thing that we can draw over here is the holes on this surface over here. So to do that, we have to right click on the surface sketch and align that plane. So we are on that plane now. It's possible to draw those circles, the sketches and extrude them and dimension them with respect to these edges. It's possible, but I'm going to use a smart technique over here, which is using construction line, which is also a center line. You can draw a construction line from center to center over here 
from center of this line to the center of this line. This line is fully constrained. You can see that it's black. Then I'll draw another line over here, which is also black. And then I'll go to circle command, draw a circle over here and here. I'll dimension one of the circles. Its dimension is 0 0.500 inches. And then I'll click on this circle, control, click on this circle, and I'll say they are equal. Next thing that I'll do, I'll dimension this circle from the center of that circle, which is 1.5 according to the drawing. And guys, the last thing, I will say this circle, press control button, this circle, press control button, and this line, they are symmetrical. So there you go. Everything is fully constrained. This line, I already drew that before drawing the circles. And the distance of that line was already set. Why? Because I used the midpoints. If you didn't use the midpoints, you have to give the dimension of this line. So the circles are complete. Let's go to Feature and Extrude Cut to remove the unnecessary material. So if you click on this and using the middle button of the mouse, try to revolve it and see that which way the extrude cut is going. And instead of blind, we can make it through all or up to next. If you click up to next, it will cut till the end of the material over here. And click OK. There you go. Those are the holes over here. And you can see it in the drawing over here. Let me show you the drawing. That these holes over here, they have a chamfer. The size of the chamfer is 0 0.060. There are four of them. Two for this hole and actually there are two holes so in total there will be four the angle is 45 we'll go to chamfer command the dimension of the chamfer is 0 0.060 angle is 45 on which edges this edge this one revolve this edge and that edge there you go those are the chamfers now let's make the cuts on the top over here the slot on this side and the slot over here. Let's go to the drawing and see what these slots are. The size of the slot is 1.250 and there are two of them and the width of the slot is 0 0.250 and the depth is till this surface over here. And there are hidden lines visible over here. They are tangent edges due to the radius of the fillet over here. There are four of the radiuses, one for this corner, one for this, one for this and one for this. Let's draw them. I will right click on this surface, sketch, align it. We are on the surface. I'll use the reference lines as we used before to fully constrain the drawing. Then I'll draw the rectangle from here to here. The width of the rectangle over here is 0 0.250. The length is 1.250. And I will say that this line, press control, this line and this line over here, they are symmetrical. This way, the sketch over here will be fully constrained with respect to the origin. Now we can go to feature, extrude cut and revolve it to see that which way it is going. And you can see that it's going that way with the blind distance over here but instead of that I'll say that up to surface and I'll click on that surface so there you go the slot is there we'll add fillets to it once we create the other slot also so I'll go on that surface and I will create a reference line then a rectangle, give its dimensions. Without giving the dimension over here, we can also do this thing. Look at this. I'll remove the dimension. I'll say this line and that line, they are collinear. And this line and this line over here, they are collinear. And all you have to do is give this height over here, which is 0 0.250 there you go it's fully constrained and then extrude cut 
true all will be good in this because that's the end of the material but instead of that it would be better to do up to next which will only cut the material where the surface ends over here so click ok that's the cut the last thing that we have to add to this is the fillets so let's go to fillet command the size of the fillet let's go to the drawing to see that what's the size of the fillets the fillets are 0 0.032 so if you click on this line before that let's add the dimensions 0 0.032 so this edge that edge and this one and that one click ok so the fillets are there you can see that there are fillets over here so this is the complete part guys if you want to see the hidden features of it and you want to see let's say the front view this is what you will do that's the front view with all the hidden lines you can also show the center line of the feature over here the hole using the hide and show items over here view temporary axis there you go you can see it so this is the complete part you can also look at the top view front view whichever view you want to see okay so that's the end of the video guys i hope you liked it thanks for watching and have a nice day